Personal Property, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. They are now engaged in digital discipleship, uh, providing digital discipleship tools across multiple platforms to bring about a rapture-ready body of believers so that when Jesus Christ comes back, he will have no trouble recognizing his children. Tonight's nightlight is out of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 16, the first half of the verse, and here's what it says. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail-bearer among thy people. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail-bearer among thy people. He's talking here about gossip or carrying a story, talking about somebody else with them not present, uh, negative communication, uh, in a destructive way. Constance Cameron talks about when she was a little girl. She was about eight years old. She was playing outside in the backyard underneath kind of what would have been the kitchen window in her home. And a lady named Mrs. Brown was sitting in the kitchen talking to Candace's mom about a very personal matter. And uh, the, the matter involved multiple people. And it was kind of a, I guess you'd call it a juicy story. And the mom realized after Mrs. Brown was shown out, she realized that her daughter had been listening and overheard the entire conversation outside the window. And she called her daughter in and said, if Mrs. Brown had left her purse here, would we give it to anybody else except Mrs. Brown? And the daughter thought, and she said, no, we wouldn't. And uh, she said, Mrs. Brown has left something here that's far more precious than her purse it is her story, and it affects a lot of people, and if her story were to be given to the wrong person, it would hurt a lot of people. And so I need you to protect her property and not tell anybody about what you heard today. Candace said that she remembered that all the way into her grown-up years, so that whenever somebody entrusted her with a important part of their story, an important piece of information, she treated it as their property, not hers, to give to somebody that wasn't them. That's a great way to kill gossip, so that gossip can't get around. That's a great way to make sure that we're not tail bearers, creating drama and conflict. One of the things that, uh, as a pastor, that you, you watch people do more than anything else. They kill other people with their tongues. They, they allow their tongues to run rampant and do great damage. The tongue is a small little muscle and it doesn't have any bones in it, but it can break, it can break hearts. It, it can shatter lives. And we need to be careful about the words that we say. And the Bible says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. We need to be building people up, not tearing them down. So we don't need to be tale bearers. We don't need to tell tales out of school. We need to speak the truth in love. And we need to only... Uh, we need to be the kind of person that others can entrust us with their story and will not give it to somebody else. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day and I thank you for these that are under the sound of my voice. Give them a sense of your presence and blessing tonight as they rest. Help us, God, to get deep rest tonight, God. I, I know I'm really, really tired right now and I know many of my friends are, God. This uh, trying to educate in the midst of COVID is is daunting and hard work. And I just pray that you'd be with my teacher friends, be with my uh, parent friends that are homeschooling or partially homeschooling. I just pray that you give everybody an extra measure of grace in this and help us, God, to be good stewards of any stories that are told to us and not ones that would just give them away to somebody else. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. Have a good night.